Yeah, but let us know what you're about. Say shit, it's out on 7 9. Your dirty JDX Fly's got on the radio. DJ Cash, the Fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. You know it's Famous Friday, man. You just now tuning in, man. Uh, we got the boy Young Book in the building. Book, what it do? Man, what's him? Man, what the hell you got going on, man? Man, staying working, bro. Locked in the studio. You been grinding? Yeah. What's what, what's next? What we working on? What we got going on? Um, Actually, I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm taking some time out to work on my album. Man. Okay. Yeah, it's time for an album now. I've been the dropping tapes for a minute. So what do you think, what's the different process from, from you dropping a mixtape and an album? Like mixtapes to me is like songs that I feel like I, that I did that was good enough to put out that I felt like wasn't good enough to sell. Mm. I feel like you should have been dropped the album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know why I feel like every tape you drop, every project you drop, it's like through the roof. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think it's, it's only right that you drop a, like a full-fledged album now, you know what I mean? It's time for, you know, patience, man. You know, I've been patient. I've been waiting on my time, so. So has that been a hard process? Cause like I said, you've been doing it. You you have been doing it for a long time, been mm -hmm. in the game a long time. Like, for, because you, how, when did you first come out? Um, In 2011. 11. Mm -hmm. So it's been some years. So to see, yeah. see so many people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, new artists come. Do they ever, like, discourage you a little bit? Like, you know what I'm saying, as far as new artists? No, nah, no. Nah. I don't, I don't knock a next, you know what I mean? If, if the next person come in the door after me and take out before me, like, it was God's plan. It wasn't right. mine, you know what I mean? So that person may need that blessing more than me at that time. Right. So, I do feel like you're underrated, though. Yeah. I do feel like even though you've had success in this game, I still feel like you're yeah, super underrated. Do you feel the same way? I definitely feel like that. I, I feel like I like being an underdog, though. Right. Because you can creep up. Right. Yeah, I like creeping up. <laughs> 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 All right. So, like, uh, as far as, like, your music, man, you have a, um, what do you get majority of your influences from? You know what I'm saying? As far as your music. You know, life. My life, what I go through, what I see through my eyes. I don't really like telling nobody else's story or no fabricated, you know what I mean, situation. So, whatever goes on in my area, mm. you know, that's what I give. And I got to commend you, like, just for staying on, on a net. Because a lot of people, like, sometimes that, that fame and, and seeing somebody shoot past you mm. can bother with certain people's spirits. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of cats that have been like, man, forget this. I ain't doing it no more. I can't. But you stay on it. Like, what, what's that passion? But you know when it's adding up? Right. See, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it may look like that this person is doing something better because of the hype on it. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm in the cut loading up. Right. Like, <laughs> I'm full. Show's booked. Yeah. Hey, like, I can, as soon as I pop out, like, I get booked up. Like, I just did two weeks straight paid shit. Right. Like, it wasn't no free shows and then like right. it was something that I really requested right. to be here how so much different is the album gonna sound it's gonna sound really than the mixtapes it's gonna sound different because I save all my best songs for this hey man young book is in the building you did. talking about this new album man you know the name of it yet heartbreak 6.0 that's heartbreak what it, that 6 we, got, we already dropped that one right you're talking about my new album your new album um we're gonna stick with now and never now and never mm -hmm. okay meaning behind that it's like, now or never. It's now or never. You get only one shot. Don't blow it. And I feel like it's time. And you and you said like basically this this album is all the songs that you saved over the years. How many years you been recording this and, and been waiting for this project? Actually, I can say two years now. Two years. Mm -hmm. What is it sounding like, man? That's that's a lot. It's you... sounding. It sounds like church on a Sunday. <laughs> 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 Church on a Sunday now. What is what is Church on a Sunday sound like? Who 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 who's the um who's playing the keys? Who doing the drums? Who's the pastor? You the pastor? I'm the pastor. Okay, who's the I'm deacons? You got some pastor. deacons yeah, on now? I'm having deacons. I got one of the um the deacons of the um deacon board in here with me today. All right. Um, and you know, I got a great great band to play this time, and the choir is uh, they're magnificent. What kind of features, man? I don't really want to. Put it out there yet? It's gonna it's save everything. Ones. Yeah, but you know, the ones that make sense on there. Right. So if they 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 get that, they get it. Uh -huh. Okay. What's the main request from your fans? Like when your fans talk to you, what, what's like the main? Cause like, I feel like you you've had like I said you've had a lot of dope success, mm -hmm. but 
I feel like you 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 haven't you have a long way to peak. Like you still you haven't you know what I mean hit your yeah. your your your, your, I your ain't potential got that shot yet. yet. So I mean when I get it, it's still curve mode. Right. Is there <laughs> anything in particular though your fans request? Like do they say like we want a album, we want another tape, we want you to do features with this one? Like actually all all of the above. Oh word. Yeah, they want me to put out my album before they even before I even finish it. And they want me to do a song with Lil Baby and Gunner. That's, That's all main. I hear. But those are dudes who I'm familiar with. Like, right. it ain't like there's no problem with them, but you know, when you know somebody, like really know them, you don't really be on it. Right. Like, it ain't no way, no way around thing. Right. So, like, if it come, it come. Like, but then the bros don't. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. How do you feel about just the, the, the success of just Atlanta, period, as a whole? You know what I mean? Atlanta been on top for a long time. A lot of people been trying to take Atlanta all, all, off the map, man. Atlanta ain't going nowhere. Okay. Because mm -mm. you got individuals like me that ain't really took off yet. So as long as they're going on in the city, it's going to be still going up. Because right now, we going up. Right. <laughs> we up. Right. So I feel like Atlanta... Got a little minute before it even shift any kind of way. Yeah. Okay. So you brought us something special. What we playing today? Yeah, man. My new single, No More, is produced by Tasha Couture. I mean, Tasha been doing a thing. Yeah, Tasha is dope. She's dope. Period. <laughs> Hands down, like she's dope. What's what's the atmosphere like like working with Tasha? Like actually, me and Tasha, that's the crazy thing. Like we only been in the studio like once. Mm. But we got so many songs together. <laughs> she just be shipping them to you? <laughs> yeah, like, she sent, she sent like 10, 15 every time, though. Like, she, she's a workaholic just like me, so I salute her grind. And that's why I really mess with most of her beats, and they fit my sound right. as well. 